Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Dallas, and today's lesson I'm going to explain uh, the basics of slope of a line. Now, slope is a very important concept to understand in math, especially in algebra and geometry. Uh, there are uh, several equations that you see all the time in algebra that requires you to know slope. And also in geometry, which is what I teach, uh, we compare different kind of lines, the parallel and perpendicular lines, uh, by using slope. Uh, and so if you understand slope, it's just going to make your life so much easier in math, and you're going to have a better experience in math. And I want you to do the best you can in your classes. And so this is one of those things, if I could pick a, a, a topic to, to cover, uh, it's slope, uh, that you just absolutely need to know in algebra and in geometry. Uh, now, when I'm talking about slope, there are four different kinds of slope. Uh, you can have slope that goes up from left to right. There's a separate kind of slope which goes down from left to right. There's also slope that goes straight across from left to right. And then there's also a fourth kind of slope that just goes straight up and down. Uh, and we're going to discuss the four different kinds of slope in this video. Uh, now, there's a letter in the alphabet that's dedicated just to slope. And that is the letter M. If you ever come across a math problem and they have the letter M in it, they're talking about slope of a line or slope between two points. Uh, and there are two different uh, ways of finding slope. One is this equation here, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. This is the slope formula. So let me write this down, slope formula. Uh, there's another one, uh, which is called uh, the rise of a run formula. That's what I call it to my students. And so there are two ways of finding slope. Now the point of this video is not to go over how to find slope uh, using these equations. The point of this video is to discuss uh, the concept behind slope. I have a, a separate video that goes over the slope formula. I have another video that goes over uh, the rise over run equation. And then I have a third video that, uh, uh, where I solve the same problem using both of these. And if I were you, I would choose one of these methods uh, to solve for slope. Uh, I prefer rise over run because it uses less math, but I have students who prefer the slope formula just because that's just what they like. Everybody has their own preferences when it comes to math and, and everything else. Uh, but ultimately what's happening here, slope is the change of the y values uh, over the change of the x values. These little triangles here mean change in or change of. And so when we come to slope, uh, this top part, no matter which one you look at, we're comparing the y values over what's in the bottom, which is comparing the x values. Uh, and I talk more about that concept when, when I do these problems on the other videos. Uh, but let's talk about uh, slope and, and why you need to know it. Uh, specifically in algebra, there are two equations. One's called the slope-intercept form. Another one's called point-slope form, where they use the letter M uh, a lot, or, or sorry, every single time. And so that letter M is the same M that I mentioned on the previous slide and that I'm, I'm highlighting right here. Uh, and so we're dealing with uh, lines here that uh, have the letter M in there. I mean, in every line has a slope of some sort. And so when it comes to algebra, you really need to know um, what the slope is to solve the problems. Otherwise, you can't do it. In geometry, we use a slope uh, t for parallel lines and perpendicular lines. Uh, but I have other videos on that one if you want to watch those as well. Uh, but let's talk more specifically about just the concept of slope. Uh, slope, the definition of slope uh, that I found online and in books is the steepness of a line. A and steepness is, is kind of a weird word to me. Uh, when I'm talking about steepness, I'm talking about you can have things that are, are really steep or you can have things that are, are kind of steep. Uh, you can have positive steepness and you can have negative steepness. And so when we're talking about slope, we're talking about the steepness of a line. Uh, and it's really important in the real world, which I'll mention here in a moment, because uh, slope is, is everywhere you look. Um, now, I've already mentioned that there's a letter dedicated to slope, and that is M. That means slope. How did they get the letter M for slope? I'm not quite sure. Um, and there's also, if you ever see uh, the phrase rate of change in a, an equation, there's, there's probably other phrases as well. Rate of change also means slope as well. So that also means slope. So, so keep in mind, if there's ever a problem, find the rate of change between these two points. They're talking about slope. And again, that all comes down to being the letter M. Uh, M is slope, a rate of change is slope. These all mean the same thing. Now, real life examples. Whenever I ask my students, you know, where do you see slope in the real world, they always point out uh, mountains first. And so I'm not an artist, but I'm going to draw what I would think looks like a mountain. Let's give it like a little snow on top. Um, so M for mountain. So let me write this down. 
Uh, if you ever have a hard time remembering what the letter in the alphabet means slope, uh, think of the word mountain and the first letter in mountain uh, goes with the letter M. And so that's something that might help you out. And if you think about it, mountains have uh, positive slopes uh, and they also have negative slopes. And so this is something to kind of pay attention to. Uh, what else has slope in the real world? Well, I know when I go home, uh, I have a roof on, on my house. Uh, and so roofs also have positive and negative slopes. Uh, there's actually a coding in architecture where you need to have a certain steepness of the roof. Otherwise, uh, your roof could be dangerous. Uh, or you could be have disastrous things happen to your house if there's not enough steepness. Uh, and so that's one example where, where slope is in the real world. Uh, you have ramps, you have roads, there's, there's everywhere you look there's slope uh, everywhere. I mean there's even uh, a slope at your house, your, your ground has a slope of zero uh, where you walk. Um, but there are, there are positive and negative slopes and, and let me talk about these uh, especially. Um, we have positive slopes. Positive slopes are slopes that go that go up from left to right. Uh, whenever you look at slope and whenever you read slopes, you always want to think about how you read a book. You always go left to right. And so whenever we talk about slope, we're always going from left to right. And in this case, from left to right, uh, we have a positive slope. Uh, there's also uh, the negative slope, which I'm sure you probably already, already know, going down from left to right. Again, from left to right, we're always going left to right. Uh, we're going down. And so the slope here is going to be a negative slope. And if you have a hard time remembering this, think of the mountain right here. We have a positive slope. Uh, if you had a person on here, and you're going from left to right, you're going to be going up the mountain. And so if you ever have a hard time, draw a little stick figure on there, and the person's going to be on top. Imagine this is the ground underneath it. Uh, and if you're going from left to right, the person's going up, and that's positive. And you can say the same thing about somebody going from left to right, going uh, on this line here, the ground is over here, they're going down the mountain, and so that's a negative slope. And so that's something that you might need help on if you forget about it. Uh, we also have zero versus undefined. Uh, a slope of zero uh, is a line that goes straight across from left to right. Um, we have slopes of zero uh, you probably see more often than you realize. Uh, if you think about um, the floor at your house, the ground's supposed to be level, and that's going to be a, a slope of zero. Um, and then if you put anything on top of a, the ground that has a slope of zero, like tabletops are going to have a slope of zero, desktops are going to have a slope of zero, your bed should have a slope of zero. Uh, and so slope of zero is, is something that you encounter all the time. Uh, there's also uh, the slope that is, is just straight up and down, uh, and that is a slope of zero. Uh, sorry, not a slope of zero. That's a that's a slope that's undefined. Sorry, ignore what I just said here. This is an undefined slope. Let me make a, a brighter color here. Let me go with red. Uh, undefined slope. And a lot of my students have a hard time with these these two concepts. You need to know these two concepts here, these two slopes, because I see these uh, problems all the time on tests, on standardized tests, uh, on quizzes. I mean. We don't come across them too often in, in problems that I do in my class, but these are two things that you really need to know. Uh, and if you have a hard time remembering uh, what slope is, um, we walk on a slope of zero. It's possible to walk on a slope of zero. You do it all the time, but you cannot walk uh, on a wall. It is impossible to walk up a wall unless your name is Peter Parker and you're Superman. Uh, sorry, Spider-Man. Uh, you cannot walk on a wall. Uh, and so it is impossible to walk on a wall, and impossible and undefined are, are kind of the same thing, versus it's possible to walk on a flat surface. Another way to think about it is, if I were to take both of these slopes here and try to combine them, they would eventually level out, and that'd give me a slope of zero. I mean, if you think of positive numbers and negative numbers, what's the number between the positive and negative? That's a zero, and so that's going to be a slope of zero going straight across from left to right. Uh, I'm almost done here. There's one more thing. If you ever have a hard time remembering positive, negative, zero, and undefined, if you can draw this little figure here, it might help you out. Now, if we look here, which one of these is positive? Well, this guy is. Which one of these is negative? Well, this one is right here. Which one's undefined? This guy right here. And which one gives you a slope of zero? This line right here. Now, notice, these give me two eyes. This finishes the nose, and this could be like a, a little beauty mark. 
And so if you have ever a hard time remembering positive, negative, undefined, and a slope of zero, just draw a little, um, like a, two eyebrows, a little line going straight down, and a little mouth. And you'll finish up the eyes with a positive and negative. This nose here, you'll finish up the nose with the U for undefined. And then you give yourself a little beauty mark for zero. Anyways, I hope this helps you understand uh, the concept behind slope. Again, this is something that you really need to understand. And I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.